What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Dr. DDeb here, and welcome back to Geiger's Grove. We are here looking at our beautiful uranium 238, proton 92, and electron 92. And oh my goodness, I am so happy with how this thing came out. If I didn't get that point across last episode, <laughs> there it is. Uh, between last episode and this, I went ahead, you'll see around our park, we have benches and trash cans now. Haven't done light posts yet. I will do those eventually, probably before next episode. Maybe not. Who knows? Certainly not I. Uh, but in this episode, I wanted to take care of a small thing or two real quick. Uh, probably a swinging ship. And uh, maybe we'll leave it at that as far as smaller rides are concerned. Um, I can't fit that right there. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, where do I want to do this? Here doesn't work either. Unless I do it... Kind of off. No, that, no, 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 no. No, we're not doing it there. Uh, yeah, we're going to build this. We're going to build a coaster. Or actually, I think I want to do a log flume. And then we're going to do something cosmetic to this park that I don't think I've done ever. And I'm not going to spoil what that is. We'll get there when we get there. Um, I'm having a hard time finding a place to put this thing. So we might just do it over here kind of in the water by our... Wa not our log flume, our water slide. That's not a water slide. That's a Ferris wheel. What am I saying? Um, actually, no. Right here is perfect. Right back here. Get rid of a few of these trees, and this will enable us to do an entrance. That is, no, it won't enable us to do that. <laughs> Let's sink this into the ground. It's not actually going to be sunken into the ground, but for whatever reason. I guess it's because of the swing distance. It requires... Oh, no, it does overlap a little bit. My bad. I am mistaken. Um, and then on this one, I want to do a little bit longer of a line than just that one tile right there. So we're going to take this... Instead of doing anything weird to avoid um, the walkway here, instead of deleting it and removing it all, we're going to bring it with the correct tile up... And then right back down, and this should allow us to connect up right here, which I think will look nice. And then we'll go back and adjust the land here to make it all metally looking, metally looking, metallic, I guess is the word. We'll line it inside it with metal. Perfect. All right. And then our mechanic should be right there. Is this him? Height. Yes, it is. Height can now cover this as well. It's not that much further for him. And then what else do I need to do? I need to paint it. And then I don't actually know a name for this yet. I probably should have given that some thought before uh, I started recording. Oh, well, we will come up with it here very shortly. 25 swings is a lot of swings. I, I always do that, and I never really consider how many times that swings. That's actually a pretty long ride. Uh, but we'll test and open Swinging Ship 1. Um, I'm not sure what we can charge. I'm going to guess 3 something. So we'll charge $3 for the time being until we get stats. But while we wait for that, let's try to come up with uh, a name for it. Ooh. Actually. Oh, yes. Okay. I got one. Um, I was trying to think something Pendulum. And then, for whatever reason, another P word went into my mind. Plutonium? Pandemonium. Plutonium pandemonium. That just rolls off the tongue so nicely. And we could charge 320 for plutonium pandemonium. Plutonium fitting the theme pandemoni pandemonium just sounding really cool. And that actually fits really nicely right there. I didn't think it was going to. I thought it was going to look slightly out of place. But that fits in real nice. Look at all these trees. Is that just one giant row of trees? <laughs> right there. It is. And it goes up the hill even. That's crazy. We might have to play into that at some point. Or maybe I'll completely forget that I said that. And we won't do that. Who knows? <laughs> okay. Let's do... Let's do our log flume, and we're going to end with our little little design that we have. 
we're actually going to do a couple things to the land this episode that are going to be, I think, pretty cool. Uh, we're going to start this in the water, actually. And I think this could actually look really cool. Uh, let me actually try it to see if it would look awful or really cool. If I lower this into the water, does that look... Ooh, that looks cool. It's going to look a little strange on the front and back sides. Um, or like where I enter and exit from the station. But I think that's going to be really cool. And we'll add one more on the back. I don't know what that puts us at, but I think that should be good. And then this is going to go up by one just to get out of this water. And then this has got to get removed. Actually, let me... Okay, and that can go be water again. And then all of this. Is there any sort of... Wrong tool. Any sort of siding that looks bluish? Does that make the water... Make it look watery at all? Maybe I do metal to make it look like it's actually supported by something. Yeah, I just put metal siding on water. But now it actually looks like a, a channel that was built for the ride to retain the water. I think that works. Uh, and then we're going to have to remove... Uh, let's do our entrance and exit real quick. Because we're going to need to lower the land... Or not the land, but the water. For both of these. Uh, and let's do this one right here. I don't know if I've ever done this before. Um, I know I've done it with... And by what... Yeah, let me back up. I don't think I've ever submerged a ride under the water like this. Uh, and I think the only thing I've ever done anything close to this is with the... Um, oh, what is it called? This isn't going to work. Uh, River Rapids ride. Because it's such a wide channel, it kind of actually looks like it fits. Uh, and then if we... Actually... We'll take this around here to kind of preserve the land. And I think that looks really cool. All right. So let's fix up the land here. And let's get the exit going, which is going to be just as much of an issue here. Um, but we'll make it work. We'll lower this. We'll lower that. And that should allow us to get back up. Perfect. And then, what is this guy doing? Is this our free floater? It's got to be. Yeah, Mechanic 5. So, we'll actually hire another one for right here. Because I didn't end up hiring additional mechanics like I said I was going to. Oops. Uh, but we'll hire one for here. Because uh, Mechanic 5 is currently the only one that can fix our Radcorp Surveyor. So, he's got three stations all across the park to look after. Uh, Alright, let's fix up the land. Like we always should be doing we don't always do it but we always should be doing it and then i think that's good as far as what i modified that looks nice i'm happy with how that came out and now that i have trash cans and benches around my park i kind of need to make sure i'm still adding those just to make it look like it fits in just that one bench really ties in this exit in my opinion okay log flume construction resume so this is going to Actually, I think it'd look cool if I do an S-bend here going into the hillside. And we're going to actually drop it right here um, just to make it look more natural. And you'll see what I'm doing here in a sec. Um, I'm actually going to pause the building and I'm going to make this area look, look good. And I'm actually going to do... Actually, let's try metal siding here again. Uh, I'm trying to make this look as if it's a, a sewage, uh, kind of dump. Like it's spewing out sewage into the water. And I played around with this a little bit. I actually don't need that tool. I'm going to use actually land to mimic this. And I'm going to use the Martian land. Uh, in our first episode here, I mentioned that I was going to do... Uh, primarily green and red and that the red would make sense later as far as why it was the color I was using and this is this is why uh, I think it looks very very much like a toxic spill 
Um, I don't know where I can take this. There we go. That works. And then let's bring it out this direction a little bit more. And we'll do one more. If I can grab the tile. Right there, actually. Let's change that to just do the corner there so it still fits in with the land. And we'll put the water back because I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> or I didn't think it would do that. And there we go. That is our toxic spill coming out of where our log flume is going, which I think looks pretty cool. Uh, we might do another one of these if we bring it out at water level. Um, I'm not sure we're going to, though. So that might not be something that happens. Okay, this is going to just go right back up and out. Uh, we should have the ability to do this, no problem. And then that just gets lowered, just like so. And if we take this, I don't want this to be super high. I want this to kind of stay on the water line. And we're going to do a little bit of just kind of snaking back and forth just to go through this channel. I think that looks nice. We'll get that gone and we will pretty this land up. There we go. All right. And then I don't think we'll need the land tool anymore. So let me put that away. And then this is going to do... I don't know. That's really the only part it's going to be going through this mountain. I'd like to make it take up a little bit, not too much, of this waterway. Um, I wish I could do wide turns on this thing. There we go. All right. So we'll drop this back down to six. I know we need to go down to five to get it to fit in there. But one downside to this is that you can't do turns in the water or like I did the station if you do a turn you've got to do a two by two square so you end up having one corner look awful uh, with the river rapids however you can do a one tile turn and so it ends up looking a lot nicer um, let's let's do this if I can which I can't <laughs> never mind uh, we'll see if we can get away doing this at seven and then if I can go up one, we can go back this way, drop it back down, and then we're going to try to end this somewhat soon. I'm thinking like now-ish, uh, but this will need to actually go a little bit further because we need room to drop it back down. Um, and if I can get one more piece of station, I think I'd like to. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to here. So that's the gradual, or sorry, that's the leveling out. This is it dropping down. Um, and then this will also need to go down because I'm going to start doing it right here. And then add one last piece of station. And there we go. Now let me get the land tool back out and add our metal siding on that because that just looks so unnatural. I'm not a fan of it. Uh, but if we do that, I think it looks a lot more intentional. And this blue, or even the green, really doesn't look natural at all. I think the metal looks not natural, but like it was intentional. Okay. Um, and I don't think we added... I think when I covered all this, our handyman was able to get all of it. And he is. Perfect. Don't have to worry about that. All right. Log Flume 1... Uh, let's name this one basically because of this. And now that I'm seeing it, I think I want to add one more piece of contamination right there. And that is our, that's our buzzword. That just gave me the name. Contaminated Creek. I like it. It's kind of the, the nuclear sludge, if you will, running out of the, the factory that hasn't been built yet, but is a about to be built because that's going to be the last thing we do is build a building in this game using land and footpath and it's going to be cool i played around with some designs i haven't finalized it yet but we're going to do that here in just a sec uh but let's get contaminated creek painted um we're going to make this kind of that reddish color again i want it to act like that sewage is just part of the ride and we're going to do that on the inside as well to make it really pop with that red. And then the gray is the support color. What if I also do that? 
And then it makes the station that color too. I really like that. Yeah, I like that. That's going to work. Okay, and then the boat colors. What if we also do red? I think we've only done that once. Actually, what if we do green boats? How is that going to look? Oh, yeah. That's... Normally, I'd say that looks hideous, but just to match the theme of this park, I think that fits perfectly. <laughs> looks very... Very out of place. <laughs> and that's kind of what I'm wanting. All right, so let's test one of our boats here and we'll open Contaminated Creek. Uh, I'm going to guess this will be 450, 480, maybe? Again, just a guess. Oh, it's going to be... This is going to be cool. <laughs> I don't know why. Just having these, this theme, having a theme makes these rides so much more fun to build. It's no longer just a log flume. It's contaminated creek. It's got a story to it. It, oh, it's just, ooh. <laughs> I love it. Okay, we're in June here. Let's build one more small ride. Uh, gentle, thrill. We'll do a gentle one because we don't have any more thrill rides that we can build. Um, and let's do... Should we do a haunted house, guys? I think we should. Let's do a haunted house. And let's do this. Oh, I had this hilltop in mind when I was first looking at this park as to where to put this, but that doesn't work anymore. Um, let's do this. Ooh, I've got... I've got an idea as to a name and kind of the, the story behind it. Uh, let's tuck this right here so this is gonna go right here which only no that doesn't give us a lot of room for the entrance um actually if we do it if we do it there the exit can go straight out and the entrance can go yeah that okay that's gonna happen all right so we're gonna do that entrance right here on the side the exit will go in the back there. And the exit is going to be fairly visible from the walkway here. The entrance, though, I want to snake it not just for a longer line. Uh, that's part of it. Can I not go under the monorail? Oh, I don't know what was going on there. Okay, and we'll do that. And then this is going to go just all the way, not all the way down. It's got to have to bridge this gap here. And then go over one and up. Yeah, I like that. There we go. All right, and then I want to actually add some more trees to this area. I want this kind of the entrance to be sort of hidden from view. Uh, and this will make sense in a sec once I get this done and I, uh, what trees are here? Once I get this done, I think they're these. Yeah. All right. So we're just going to really litter the walkway here with trees. I don't want it to really be visible. Uh, I think we can get one more in. Do another one there. Just try to. I'm trying to just kind of obscure this area. And if we can add any more on the backside here too, I would like to, to make it not as visible from all angles. Uh, can I do a narrow one here? I think I can. Yeah, I can do three actually. There we go. Can I get any more on this side? A couple more. And then let's do a couple narrow ones here just to even that out. And then let's actually just throw a few of these the route just so we have some consistency to those skinnier trees and that they're not just in that one area do one more back there another one here a couple more down here as they're thinning out okay perfect i say perfect while i keep placing more all right that is the look i'm going for sort of a hidden haunted house kind of in the woods not really super visible that's kind of my goal 
uh, and this handyman can already get there. I just need to grab our mechanic, which he should be close to being able to cover this. I forgot to name this guy. Um, contaminated. And then we've got, what, egg, fallout, half light. Kurt is our cart guy. Have him grab this as well. There we go. All right, 100 has one. Test open, like usual. And it sounds nice and creepy because Haunted House 1 is now the laboratory. I can't say it and type it at the same time, so that <laughs> never works out. The laboratory or the laboratory, if you want to say it, not as fun. The laboratory. This is the location where, you know, Radcorp did all their, their developing and whatnot, and it was a hidden laboratory. Man, I got that stuck in my head now. A hidden laboratory just deep in the woods away from all, all else so that if something were to go wrong, it's an isolated incident. That's my story, and I'm sticking with it. All right, we can charge 240 for this one. Perfect. And I think all those trees actually kind of helped with the, uh, the excitement there. All right, and let's do... Let's put a sign... Um, I guess we'll do it on the exit because it doesn't make much sense to do it on the entrance. On the entrance. Uh, we'll do a sign right here at the entrance. It's not going to be a do not enter sign, but that's kind of how I would like it to be treated, I guess. Uh, and we'll do this one in... Would yellow look good? Yellow, white kind of reminds me of a, a lab. I don't know why. Authorized. Personnel only people could still go through that but only those that have access to the lab are able to go in okay and let's actually end with our sort of feature for this park or at least a feature and this is going to be Radcorp's HQ uh, and I kind of want to do it just in the water uh, kind of away from everything else. Um, actually, let's... Yeah, we're going to do it right here. Uh, and let's do... I'm going to bring everything up a little bit here. And then... Hold on, I'm trying to think how this will all work out. Let's make it four tall. And then we'll start angling it down here. Yeah, this is going to work. This is going to look so cool. Okay, so that's the, the base structure of the building. And then I think these are roofing tiles. Gray roofing tiles. Yeah, that looks nice. The texture kind of changes, it looks like, from flat to angled. It looks like a checker pattern here and looks more like a shingle pattern. But that's beside the point. And then for siding, we're again going to do metal because that looks very industrial. And then this is going to be the cool part. Um, we're going to do... What color walkways should we do? Let's do this like dark brown. I think that would look good. Let's try that. Um, we're going to start this actually inside. You can't see it at all. But if I... Oh, no. <laughs> I can't do that. I've got to start it outside, actually. Um, I've got to start it here and go up one. What? What's going on? I can't place it right here. Okay, whatever. We'll lower the water <laughs> so I can make this work. And then we'll get footpath and start it. There. Okay. So we're going to do like a balcony. And I think that's going to look really cool. You can actually see the supports kind of holding it up. And then if I did not, yeah, I can't talk. I don't want that there. I want this to go there. And let's actually raise that water back up because I think that looks kind of weird now. There we go. And then let's have this kind of like going. I don't like how that looks right there. But if we drop this underground, it doesn't actually connect up right there. And then that kind of looks like it's going underground, kind of deeper into... Um, Radcorp HQ. And let's actually put signs on this thing 
to make it really look like Radcorp HQ. We're going to do them all over the place just so it's very, very clearly marked. Uh, these are going to be green text signs or green banners with green text. And it's all going to say Radcorp. I did it again. Radcorp HQ. Radcorp HQ. I like it. All right. We're going to do that for all of these real quick. And I'm not going to make you guys watch all that. So I'll be back once I've done that. All right. Banners are done. I think we need... Right here looks kind of strange. And I don't know why. Um... It's there's like a tiny little bit of green right there, and that might be because we're actually on grass right there. Uh, so let me grab the land tool and take out just oh no, because that's going to affect what's above it. Oh, I don't know how, how that works. We'll just have to get over that. And then that looks pretty sweet, but I feel like it's missing something. Uh, let's add like a can I do a balcony on this thing on the backside, maybe? Using the same kind of footpath technique. I think that could look really cool. Uh, we're actually probably going to have to start it here on the roof. Just to get it to go where we want it to. Uh, and then we'll delete these. And go back through. Oh yeah. Why can't I even see that? What the heck? <laughs> that looks so strange have a little balcony on the back oh that looks so cool i like how that came out and then can we do like a oh what if we do since this is an island let's do what would look best red maybe a helipad that's what i'm treating that as a helipad and let's get some lights on this um We'll just do a couple of these green ones. A couple on the the back balcony area. And then right there. Oh, yeah. That looks so cool. Radcorp HQ is now built. I don't think there's much more I can do to decorate that up and make it look cool. But I think that's going to work. I like it. And they can only access it by helicopter. So I'm not going to run any footpaths to it. Radcorp HQ. Floating there in the middle of the water. Looks so sick. Alright guys, look at that. We have 20 grand. This park is going to be so much better as far as finances are concerned than what we're used to. So next episode, we will 100% absolutely be building some sort of coaster. We've got the money to do pretty much anything we want. Uh, we don't have a wooden, a crazy wooden, or a mine train, or a single rail coaster. I'm really leaning towards a wooden coaster at this point. So if that's your jam, be excited for next episode, because that's most likely what we're going to do. But all right, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed our our builds, our uh, log flume here, our swinging ship. Plutonium Pandemonium. Such a cool name. And then what else did we do? We added something small somewhere. I've already forgotten where we did it. Our haunted house. The laboratory. Back in the woods. Oh, man. Authorized personnel only. Is this doing well at all? Is anyone on it? Nine people in queue line. Okay. So people are actually writing it. Or viewing the laboratory. <laughs> Alright, guys. I am rambling at this point. That seems to be a habit as of last episode and this i will see you guys in the next one and until then as always take care <laughs>